I have no interest in small talk. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir, and you are not among them. Only, there is one thing I will say. Count Emir's kindness is a gift. Should you cross him, you will sorely regret it. Be gone. There is nothing more to Be gone. There is nothing more to say. <laughs> the exalted timbre of the bell has reached these ears of mine. Gracious, the starry sky is wondrous tonight indeed. Only your fate shines brighter. Now, these are for you. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I have made my decision to be of help. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. Yulan. Well, I hope that she behaved, at least. The poor girl has overcome grave misfortune. Her tongue can be sharp at the best of times, but don't think that makes her a bad person. <laughs> it's no surprise her little sister, too, has a heart of gold. I fear that you have borne witness to the whole of it. The conceits, the hypocrisy of the world built upon the earth tree. The follies of men. Their bitter suffering. Is there no hope for redemption? The answer, sadly, is clear. There never was any hope. They were each of them defective. Unhinged from the start. Marika herself. And the fingers that guided her. And this is what troubles me. No matter our efforts, if the roots are rotten, then we have little recourse. Ever young Mikola saw things for what they were. He knew that his bloodline was tainted, his roots mired in madness. A tragedy if ever there was one. That he would feel compelled to renounce everything when the blame lay squarely with the mother. May the gleaming stars guide you evermore. <laughs>